Director, Vice President of the Roar Foundation Shambhala Preserve, Shambhala.org. People ask all the time, how do we do it? How do we do what? Keep these guys cool in the middle of the Antelope Valley. Well, come with me and I'll show you. Like number one, Mindy. See the tiger underneath her den box? So we got these sprinklers that go back and forth, back and forth. Some of the cats have tubs. Some of the cats have sprinklers. All the cats have access to shade and water. Tigers, water, very important. But there's a certain part of the day that you have to turn the water off. Um, these places get soaked. And so by nine o'clock tonight, Mindy's compound will still be very wet. So now it's time to shut it off. Literally raining on that cougar. Einstein and Lily are in there. Plenty of water, but time to shut it off. You know, we were thinking about filming Parents' Day. Now, there's a reason why I'm not doing Parents' Day. We have so many programs here at Shambhala. We have Parents' Day. You can become a member. But our parents belong to a very elite club that comes out the first Saturday of every month. Out of respect, to their elite club, I figure I'm not going to film it because that's their day. So it's out of respect for the parents. Okay, Willow and Aspen, two big tigers, one wet tiger, another tiger in the shade. Um, this is how we do it. And these guys really appreciate it, but they really need it. Tigers equal water, water equals tigers. Believe me, if you're in the Big cat world, you know, tigers need water. But they don't need to be soaked all night. So time for their water to get shut off and then their compound, their compound will stay wet probably till eight or nine o'clock tonight. Um, these two lions, they don't like the sprinklers, but they love the wet ground. So then once we shut off the sprinklers and the ground is really soaked, then these two lions will leave the shade and go and set on in the wet ground. So everybody has been asking, how's the crew? The crew's fine. They're working very hard. How's Tippy? Tippy's fine. She's staying safe in her house. Um, Trudy, she's fine. She's taking the checks that you guys donate when you send them in. She brings them to the bank. Does she do it every day? No. So sometimes people think like, oh my God, I sent you a check and it hasn't been cashed. Believe me, your checks will be cashed. Thank you so much for supporting the Roar Foundation, Shambhala Preserve, Shambhala.org. Thank you. All of us thank you. And so do they. Okay, so here's one of the tubs. This is Alexander's compound. Um, he has a sprinkler too and a tub. Alexander is Actually, he's pretty smart. He goes in the tub and in the early parts of the day, and then he's inside his den box in the nice shade, and his coat is wet, so Alexander's fine. But guys, we cannot do this without your support. And do you realize our animal crew, myself, we're working seven days a week during this. Uh, just to keep these guys healthy and clean. It's our job. We signed on for it. It's fine. But it is hotter than heck out here. Um, winter's gone. It's summer. And we will continue. And believe me, we want to open up. We are dying to open up to share this with you. But we got to go along with whatever's going on in the world when the world tells us we can open we will open so stay tuned because i don't know the date and a zen moment from shambhala if i knew any of those yoga poses i would not do it because it wouldn't be pretty anyway but yeah the koi fish are also doing fine too. 